You know, I'm glad that we saw Thunder Truck there because this reminds me, ice and snow, you always want to take it slow on the roadway just because you have four-wheel drive doesn't mean you have four-wheel uh, stop. And some of these spots, by the way, across central Massachusetts, slick roads, slippery roads, and the, uh, that's likely to, uh, to continue through the mid-morning hour. It's cloudy. It's cool to finish the week. Showers do likely become scattered on Friday and Saturday, but a big-time warm-up is in store next week. So if winter isn't your jam, perhaps May and June-like temperatures are for much of next week. But first, it's the chill as this nor'easter has really started to settle in. We've got two sort of disturbances at play right now. One is out to sea. That's the one that brought us the rain yesterday, but it's also bringing in some of the colder air that sets the stage for this next area of low pressure to push on through that keeps us into the clouds, into the rain, into the snow through the overnight hours. Scan that QR code, by the way, because that is going to get you the latest information from the first alert weather team, and you can track this storm with us hour by hour, minute by uh, minute, by minute, and also get those updates, too, should new severe weather warnings be issued. We're taking a look at First Alert Live radar right now, and you'll know that some of this green here, that is all the rain that we see, and the majority of it is across Cape Cod and the islands, but to the north and west, through Metro West, right along the Mass Pike and northbound, that is where we're in and out of the rain, perhaps back into some uh, sleep for some, and thunder snow, once you cross the state line and get across southern portions of New Hampshire, across Central Mass, it's trying to clear out here, trying to push some drier air through, and that ultimately will start to deteriorate this thing hour by hour. But slowly but surely, we'll start to see the tide turn. I think uh, at about 9 o'clock this morning, we'll still have some rain across southeastern Massachusetts, some sleet again right along I-495, and then towards the north, it's mostly snow. And that's where we're anticipating some of the heaviest snow to really accumulate well to the north, 8 to 12 inches of snowfall for portions of the Merrimack River Valley. The lower Merrimack River Valley, likely 3 to 5 inches of snowfall, and then Worcester closer to 1 to 2 to maybe even 3 inches of snow. But remember, with some of these totals, because we had sleet earlier this morning and late last night, that's going to cut down and put you on the lower end of the total. So if you're in that three to five zone, you're likely more so three than you are five, unless you turned over into all snow this morning, like we saw with Alicia there in Fitchburg. Everyone gets gusty winds today. So far, some of the peak gusts have been between 50 and 61 miles an hour on Nantucket for the next hour or so. We're still at about 40 to 45 miles an hour. And notice this onshore push of wind energy through the North Shore and Cape and that's what's likely to pile up the water across uh, Rockport, Gloucester, and also into Salisbury, too. I don't think this is a major flood event there, but we will certainly start to see some splash over, as Menashe has been reporting, and perhaps also some uh, roadways across the coast becoming perhaps uh, taking on some water, too, maybe six inches to a foot or so of water. Remember, turn around, don't drown, find an alternate route. We start to see the winds turn directions midday, and that will then usher in flow from the north and west and then allow the water to really escape. Remember, high tide is right around 7.40 this morning. So in the next uh, two hours or so, we'll see that substantial water level rise. In Dorchester, we're at 36 degrees right now. So is West, Rox West Roxbury, and it's all rainfall there. Uh, Foxborough, right around 36, too. It's raining, but Boxborough, near 32 degrees. That rain is mixed in with some snow and perhaps wet snowflakes. Enough of the winter talk. Let's talk about the May and June-like temperatures on the way. And that arrives next Monday and Tuesday as we soar, folks, into the upper 50s, low 60s for the eclipse. It's still looks like we have clear skies uh, up, uh, across much of the Northeast and New England. By Wednesday and Thursday, though, as a new system nears, it will push in with mostly rainfall, if not all rain, because look at our temperatures there, 62 to 65 degrees next Thursday and Friday.